Mia Mitch Studio. Today we're going to learn how to use text tool in Adobe Fresco app on iPad. So let's get started. I will go back to my uh, work mode. I will hide this layer now, which I already did earlier. And I create new same, same text as I had before. So for that, we're going to use the text tool. We're going to tap on screen anywhere. And we're going to then change our text to hello sunshine okay so then i'm gonna hide my layers here to see better and then we want to get it you know in the center okay and then there is transform tool here to use that and then we have guides here which guide us right in the center sometimes you have to just uh roam around it a bit and then you get in the center okay hit done and when you don't have this option on that the guys would put it in the center then uh there's this um option here called precision tools and snapping is right here so the snapping should be on if i put it off it looks like that and now it's on and you can choose your your uh rotation uh, snapping as well uh so there are options i choose 45 degrees okay i close this one now so then um to change actually the text i'm gonna show you now how you can change your font so you tap again on your keyboard here and here is this button style text okay and then here you can choose very many like fonts so for example this one or any other and then if you want more fonts you can see it's by the categories uh, fun friendly comic and so on so we're gonna just use the same one now and i go back to this one and then i'm gonna show you what you can do with it so let's hit the keyboard again and i'm gonna use another let's tap here behind this one i'm gonna use another row and uh, i will say uh, happy dots happy thoughts okay so you can see now it's like you know all together bundled let's put another row and um, i put x or x off and okay let's leave it like that now so for that going out from the keyboard you use this one you can see okay you're okay with it you move it a bit but now you want to edit it okay so for editing this uh, text that it would look not so crowded uh, first of all you can use this button right here to make this uh, gaps between the uh, rows uh, bigger, uh, bigger that is giving more air between the text and to see how much you have done you go back to the text and then it shows how much you actually move and when you see tiny gap there between it's usually a good size to keep the gap or you go tiny bit back it depends your own preparation uh, uh, that which uh, which uh, gap you like more is it more together or less together and uh, this one here is making the text more uh, wide in a way that there's gap between the letters so it will make it uh sorry this this one is actually uh no this one is a uh, text size sorry this is this is not the between one so this is the text size you can change it here or you can change it uh i will kind of show you in a second how you change it the other way very easy and uh, then this one is the gaps um between the letters so you can see now it's much more bigger gap and uh, we can put it all together it's looking a bit ugly now but okay let's keep like that and these buttons here, so this makes gaps. So all your letters are like uh, big letters. So it looks like that. Okay. And let's go back. And then this one is making it like one, uh, like first letter is big and others are smaller, but they're still gaps, still big letters. Okay. So these buttons are doing this one. We can just press again to go back to regular. And this is uh, aligning. So this aligns from the right, this aligns from the center, and this aligns from the left. So I like it now in the center, but I would like that this uh, XOXO would be a bit on the side. So for that, we go back to the keyboard. I press here in front of this 
XOXO and I bring it a bit more in the on the side okay let's go back out and we can see that this text is way too big so now I'm gonna show you how to easily change the text size here was one option but the other option is to just you know use these white things white uh, 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 mm, bubbles here that you can just put your uh, pencil there and move them like that okay let me move uh, move a bit closer to myself and now I would like to put it again aligned in the center and where is our lining is it like that yes all right and actually I like it a bit more down that the upper is more air so this is how you create really cute really cute uh, tiny note for example use text tool and uh, this is how easy it is and thank you for watching my videos um, I have a playlist uh, with my uh, videos uh, about how to create artboard and uh, many other helpful uh, beginner videos so um, if you want to check them out I put the link in the description for them thank you for watching bye bye